This video will introduce you to the basic concepts of data audification and provide you with a sense for how this technique can be applied to explore time series datasets. Audification is a process through which scientific datasets are translated into sound, and by listening to the resulting audio, we're able to conduct a high-resolution spectral analysis with our ears. Here's an example. In this top plot, we have 1,300 data samples gathered from the magnetometer instrument on the WIND spacecraft rendered in MATLAB. And on the bottom plot, we see the same data displayed as an audio waveform within standard music production software. Notice that while the coloration is different, the two curves are essentially the same. This is because no data samples are lost in this translation process. Any one-dimensional time series can be written directly to an audio file, and all data samples are preserved through this mapping. Now we're looking at audified wind magnetometer data within Isotope RX, a software platform that is commonly used for manipulating audio waveforms. This is an example of what unremarkable solar wind turbulence sounds like. Make sure that you're listening over high quality speakers or headphones. Keep in mind that we're listening to the raw data, so it will sound quite noisy. When listening through vast amounts of magnetometer data, this is what the majority of the data will sound like. This interval spans roughly 123,000 data samples from solar wind magnetic field measurements gathered by the wind spacecraft on the 17th of November 2007. On top, we see a visual representation of the time series, and on the bottom, we have a spectrogram representation of the frequency space. Notice that in both the time series and spectral representation, we can see that there's a relatively low intensity on the left side of the panel, and an increase in intensity as we move to the right. What we're seeing here is the shock events produced by a passing coronal mass ejection. This is the spectrogram of the audified waveform, which means that we can now play back the audio and listen to the spectrum as the event evolves. Notice how the intensity of the sound builds towards the middle of the audio file, and the shock event can be heard as a percussive thud. While the audio may initially sound like a jumble of noise, repeated listening can reveal subtle features in the frequency spectrum. For instance, you may have noticed a subtle whistling sound occurring at the beginning of this event. In many instances, this type of auditory analysis can provide us with information that might otherwise be overlooked, and this technique has led to the observation of several novel features in the solar wind. The remainder of this tutorial series will walk you through the audification process, from handling raw data to extracting new features.